Okay, I'm about to explore an abandoned house. And I got this location from somebody and I'm freaking out because first of all, there's two abandoned houses and this person didn't tell me that. And second of all, this looks way too perfect. Getting here was extremely easy. The two houses are set back from the road and secluded. And I've seen pictures. I know that the inside is insanely awesome. So I'm freaking out that this seems way too perfect, but I'm gonna shut up now and we're gonna find out. And we're gonna go to the first house because that's the one he told me about. The other one over there is just a bonus, but let's go. So I don't know where to go in. And I'm thinking this is way too easy and it's boarded, but yeah. I don't know where the entry point is. Okay, so this house has a very old compost heap out back. I'm standing on it right now. It is filled with many, many buried vintage jars and bottles. So I'm very excited. This is really disgusting because it's, it's buried, um, but they're kind of poking out of the ground. I'm gonna let you watch me dig around in this filth in search of an awesome vintage soda bottle. I'm finding tons of soda bottles, but they're all broken. Couldn't they have placed them gently in this disgusting heap? Of course, this boring crap is intact. Oh, it's just beer. What is that? That's interesting. That was a vintage Coke bottle. Vintage Christmas tree bulb. <laughs> this one's kind of cool. It's like hexagonal. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this little vintage metal truck. Holy crap. It's missing the front wheels, but whatever. That's friggin' awesome. Oh, another one. Twinsies. Ah, oh, it's Pepsi. It's a Pepsi bottle I don't have. That sucks. There's a whole lot of other things going on in the woods in back of this house, like whatever that is. I'm about to find out. Boring. I thought there was a ladder. Is that so an animal won't make its home in there? That's weird. Why did they barricade that? That's odd. There's the house that we can't go in at all. Let's not look at it anymore. It's too depressing. Let's see if this shed has anything to offer. We'd rather go in that, wouldn't we? But this is all we're getting. Okay, that's weird. Why are there pool floats that are still inflated? 
it's a pool float. And it's two of them. And they're still inflated. And a saw. And some Bonnie Bell lip gloss. Wild raspberry lip gloss. Badminton rackets in the net. And, uh, we got kind of a toy. I think it's a pool toy or of some sort for a kid. So shout out to the Florida Pool Company. If they're watching, your pool tubes stay inflated for decades. Decades after unuse. <laughs> Send me a free pool for that plug. Who's ready for some badminton? I don't got a birdie, but I got some Bonnie Bell lip smackers. I was done with the gross bottle graveyard, but I walked by it, did one more sweep, found nothing, was about to leave, saw a little piece of glass, decided to pull it up, missed filming it, not getting it on camera, perfectly intact. Red Fox. Second one I have found. I don't even know what Red Fox is, but I have two of these now. Shut up. I just found a Red Fox bottle. I need quiet. Anyway, my day is complete. Fully intact Red Fox. Here's the other house that we can't get in at all because I'm not about to force myself in. But there's some cool things in the front yard, like this pink flamingo with a pull up its butt and a broken bird's bath and a bunch of plants, dead plants. And then and then over here, we got her. And her. And once again, the house we can't go in. There's something over there with feet. I see feet. What is it? It's, it's a it's a doll. It's a doll. What is that? It's Santa in Birkenstocks in a Hawaiian shirt holding alcohol. What on earth? Well, it looks like somebody at least left us a treasure from inside the house. I thought this was going to be like Jesus. Doesn't that look like it'd be Jesus' feet? But no, it's Santa on holiday. He's on holiday. What is he wearing around? Oh, he's got sunglasses. Look at that. Without one of the lenses. I want to put his sunglasses on. There. <laughs> Or is this Jerry Garcia? <laughs> what has he got to drink? Is that Corona? <laughs> I don't know, and I'm doing a really bad filming job. That's awesome.
Anyone need a tire jack? I wonder where their pool was. Because there's all pool stuff over there. I think it was off of that um, deck. Like the deck went down to an above ground pool. So I just peeked under the porch for possibly soda bottles or soda cans. And there's one of those scooters that came out before the Razor scooter. And I had one, I had one of these in 1987, 86. So whoever lived here was probably my age. It had the hand brakes. You can see the little white cable. You can see the hand brakes actually. But that was before Razor scooters, we had those. And they had like the mag wheels, you can see. I wanna drag that thing out and ride on it. So I was actually going to drag it out from under here and ride it, but some roots and vines have grown into the spokes and right there through the scooter. So it's like rooted into the ground. It's attached to the ground by these roots and vines. So I can't, I can't pull the whole thing out. So I propped it up. I had this exact scooter. I think they spray painted it. I don't think that's the original color. Mine was white or more like it, mine was that the handlebars were all metal colored. Mine was not blue. Oh yeah, this one. Mine had those blue wheel rims though. I think they painted this. Anywho, just had to show you that. Can't get in the house, but we can get under it. Oh my God. So the door is open and it's boarded up, but you can see inside and there's vinyl albums. There's Bruce Springsteen, and I think that's Van Halen. Oh, we're missing out on the vinyl. Is that the Thompson Twins? It's Tina Marie. Can I reach them? I want you, but I can't fit through that. That sucks. Okay, I'm going to go. I actually had fun because I always enjoy looking for old soda bottles, even though you might think that's so lame. That's not fun at all. That's garbage. You're garbage picking. You're rooting through a dump site for garbage. But after I clean it, it's really cool vintage garbage. I can't even believe there's two houses and we can't get into them. But maybe we can check back. And later on this summer, some other explorers or teenagers might have found a way in. I'll probably just upload this as a quick, a quick and stupid explore. So you can totally dislike this. I'll, I'll just upload it for, for content. There were a lot of cool things around both properties. So this wasn't a complete loss, but I'm going to go now. I'm really hungry. Goodbye.